Destiny 2 The Final Shape. The developers just dropped the new gameplay preview and last year I said that I was okay with what they showed but was disappointed that they didn't have a new enemy faction and with all the layoffs, delays happening the community was basically, yeah, almost dead but freaking Luke Smith, the lord, suddenly appeared as you can see and holy shit, uh, yeah Bungie probably is making the greatest expansion of destiny's history not just two also destiny one they showed the new subclass prismatic which by the way i think is much much better than getting a new subclass element because one the new subclass element wouldn't have anything that supports it no various supers no exotics it will drop just dry there's nothing with it to help it if even strand and stasis are lacking compared to the light subclasses then a new element would yeah it would be nothing in comparison so mixing subclasses not only removes all the missing stuff from dark subclasses but also improves them with the benefits that the light subclasses can give so now you can actually use grapple without having to use the strand super you have many supers to choose well that's for hunters <laughs> as we'll talk about in a minute but yeah it is just so damn good that we're getting this i am so happy this is finally happening i was telling my friends that they should be mixing some subclasses and stuff i was saying like why don't they mix solar and stasis together and then strand and void or arc and then the new subclass with whatever is left but no this uh, like this idea Bungie did is basically that but better and yeah i hope in the future they start on expanding that and basically make it so they basically delete all the single element subclasses because i think yeah it, it is a about time we're 10 years into destiny and it's about time we are not just using one element anymore just make this super mega subclass that is not really subclass at this point it's just a class called hunter or titan or warlock and basically yeah just make the new elements be the new aspects new supers new stuff don't make new subclasses just add in new elements with new supers related to them aspects and fragments grenades and all of that this is much much better than bringing a single subclass as it's the new subclass just because it's a new element because then you'll have to make new exotics that go along with it you'll have to make new guns with that element you'll have to make the perks work differently how like the buffs and debuffs work you'll have to add a lot of perks and yeah this is just the best the second thing they revealed which is to be honest the thing i'm most excited for is the exotic class item it is a little bit concerning that Maybe we won't be able to transmog it. But yeah, that doesn't matter that much when it comes to making fun gameplay. And yeah, I think there are so, so many combinations in my head that... God, I'm already like, my brain is expanding. Just thinking about what I can do. So this exotic basically steals perks from not only your class's exotics, but also other classes and combines two perks in one exotic slot so yeah the one in my mind right now is liar's handshake and warm god caress if prismatic works the way i think it works these two probably would stack and yeah my one two punch shotguns are gonna be yeah do not mess with them also finally warlocks and titans would be able to take lucky pants and use malfeasance with it which is one of the most fun synergies i've had in like this game's whole history and yeah there are so much potential in this exotic and i think the way to go forward about this is by is with each release you can bring a new slot so maybe the next one is a helmet that mixes two exotics and why not make a gun out of that i know this is ridiculous but let's be real the whole gameplay reveal was 
is ridiculous so don't even try to say i'm calling stuff ridiculous and whatever so yeah there's so much potential in this and finally the final reveal and the one i was waiting for so goddamn long new enemy race finally and this is like new new i know there are like scions reshaped whatever but this is basically as close as we get to a fully new race because well there are actual new races in them there's like the grim bat whatever and there is the freaking touch my worm inside my belly creature and yeah it is just so refreshing to have all these amazing ideas thrown at our faces in the middle of us basically crying at the state of the game but i have one like confusion why so late why did you even release the one last year like the way they explained everything last year it sounded like they weren't confident in the reveal they literally told us that the witness won't die in the raid there is also more after the raid so why say all that i, I don't know it feels like they were cornered and had to say anything to keep our attention even though they were cooking all of this behind the scenes why didn't they just like in the subjugators why didn't they say yes these are the subjugators but there's more to be revealed or something like that why did they just stop at the subjugators as if they're all there is i don't understand their decisions i feel like the one last year was extremely early and the community had way too high hopes for it as much as this one right here and the only reason this one surprised everyone is because it was so late and in the middle of a delay so i don't know why they made it like this why the first one was so early like on august holy shit almost a year and yeah by the way anyone saying that oh they made the delay to make these stuff no these stuff take a lot of time there's no way they made all of this in just the delay also don't forget they also made the into the light thing so yeah there's no way this was planned and i have a feeling that bungie is doing their usual business move of disappointing us with something they know that will disappoint us and then release something that will make us happier just to make us say that Bungie listens to us or something because they've done this in the past but yeah it doesn't matter in the end I'm just happy that the final ship is literally the biggest expansion they have ever made the witch queen didn't have a new full race forsaken didn't have a new subclass it was just like shitty trees something and the Taken King didn't have a dungeon and even if you don't want to count dungeon because they weren't a thing in Destiny 1 well the Taken King didn't have a legendary campaign so yeah this is literally biggest than all the massive expansions that we always compare everything to Bungie delivered like no matter what you think if you're someone because i can see a lot of people saying oh this is not as good as people are say no this is literally like if you just know math <laughs> just counting things you will see that objectively speaking this is bigger than everything in the past and yes yeah, speaking of bigger with subclasses look at this yep so this is how the new subclass will work basically these are the abilities that you're gonna be able to use with prismatic and well i'm not so sure about titans and warlocks because i never play them but i can say that for a hunter i am so happy that specifically combination blow is gonna be in prismatic knife trick love it grapple love it i am so so happy i may be a bit sad that i won't be used the full potential of void with like all the going invisible thing and whatever but there is still like stylish execution which is good and in being invisible but not always on command as the dodge and the slam the supers are also fine however it is interesting that warlocks and titans because their new supers are void and solar they won't have bubble and will of radiance which 
you know that literally goes against higher difficulty content like you won't see anyone from warlocks or titans go prismatic on raid day hunters yeah we have shadow shot like the debuff gold again i i, I don't remember maximum w is which one if it's the three bolt or six bullet but yeah anyway i think prismatic is for now great but needs to be better because i don't like the idea that they are still giving attention to the older subclasses i want prismatic to be it like that's it i want everything from past subclasses to go into prismatic and just delete past subclasses if you want you can make a single element inside prismatic i don't want it to be oh you want that specific build you need to go solar i want solar to benefit a bit from others and i feel like if we want a destiny three this is probably it like just mixing all elements and maybe plus one element maybe the golden darkness thing when destiny 3 drops because i don't know i still believe destiny 3 is gonna be a thing and yeah i've yapped a lot so i'm gonna spare you for now and yep i am so so happy with the final shape nezalik doesn't deserve the final boss of pantheon and yeah that's about it